We had a couple of really big challenges. One was bringing Leia back to the screen. We used a shot of Carrie Fisher from Return of the Jedi, and we then, you know, take her face and bring that into our new scene and color correct it and, and make it match and then render a new helmet around her head. There were 1,900 shots to, to complete close to 2,000 shots, so it's an enormous amount of work. It requires an incredible amount of organization. You almost have to have something wrong with you to get into this business because it's so all-consuming and so detail-oriented. There's a certain spirit within the franchise to innovate and to try different ideas, and, and the scale of the movie often allows you to do that. Welcome to Mexico! When you're looking at it's a shot like this uh, in the desert, of course, we did go to Jordan. We did film in the desert. But a lot of times you're moving at such high speed, the, the camera can't move over that ground at that, that fast speed at that height. So we need to go in there, take all that reference material that we have, and build that, that desert digitally. Everything in this particular shot is digital. So when you call it computer generated, there's a lot of real photographed elements that go into that. That's why it looks so real. When they're fighting with the water, Kylo, Ren, and Ray, a duel out there, you know, with the, with, with the water. And that was a tremendous technical endeavor. Daisy and Adam had to endure tons and tons, gallons and gallons of freezing cold water pouring on them. And then we removed a lot of it and replaced it with the, the digital water that you see here. But you, you can't replace the, the fact that they were really in that spot, really feeling that water on them. It, you know, it made it look much more real, I think. bringing Leia back to the screen, you know, it was a sensitive issue because, of course, you know, um, Carrie had passed, passed away. And we decided in the end to an adopt an approach where we were actually using her face for every piece of footage that you see in the movie. It's truly Carrie Fisher. And, in, and we felt that that would provide a sort of integrity to her performance. So obviously we didn't want it to look as though we just cut her out of an old movie and put her into this. So we built a digital version of her around the, her face. So when you see her in the movie, generally it's her face and then a digital version of her because we want to change her hair, we want to change her costume so she looks very unique for this movie. No, you can't do it for me. Never underestimate a droid. Yes, Master. The funny thing about visual effects is that oftentimes you don't want the audience to notice your work you know you want to feel as though it's seamless so every time we do something i always want to try and make it feel as invisible as, or as real as possible